Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're currently uh, doing some trials for these Koroks. So, let's keep doing that and talk to this one. Hey, hero guy, I was told you'd be coming. But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. But it's not complicated, all you need to do uh, is equip this Korok uh, weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? I'm ready. Alright, go get him. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you unequip them, you're out. Oh my goodness. If they break, I'm out. So I'm just gonna use bombs as my weapon the entire time. <laughs> the entire time I'm just gonna use bombs probably. Just because that means they won't break. All you have to do is reach the shrine in the back of the area. Off you go. The test of wood. It's another shrine quest. Three, two, one, go. It's not actually timed or anything, you just had a countdown for some reason. So I'm probably gonna wanna equip my bombs, so I'm ready for anything. And let's start figuring this out. Apparently there's a shrine over this way, who could tell? Please stop. Okay. Nice. This is going fairly well. I could also just pass everything here. I suppose. Oh my goodness, acorns and apples everywhere. Some of stuff here as well. Oh, and the fire keys, of course. Which could also burn my stuff. Oh my goodness. Something shooting ice arrows at me. Can I just quickly do this? Thank you. Is this the path? I think this is the path. Oh, but there's that there. That's fire keys down. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and switch from uh thing to this, and then let's blow that up. I don't think I got them at all. That's fine. The grass is all almost faded away, so we should be all right. Let's blow them up. Good. <laughs> this is not... I don't think this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I think running around is working out for me fairly well, so I'm just going to keep up with this. Okay. Ow. Please let me pick that up and then throw that in there. Oh my goodness. Where are these arches? There's one. Which I can probably also throw bombs at if I aim correctly. Please get up, please get up, please move. We can also heal as much as we need to, I'm pretty sure. Which is useful. So let's actually go to my meals and actually eat a meal. So I'm not just eating nothing more stuff for point, point pointless reasons. Did I get him? No. That's annoying. How about I get up here? We also can't leave the... Ah, uh, we can't go off the path, so... We actually have to... Please. We actually have to do it properly. Oh yes, go in the thing. Yes! Ah, oh, look at him go. The other one's back up again. That one's gone under. Ow. Oh. This is really annoying me. So this is actually a fairly difficult challenge then. But I think I'm doing alright. Okay. Now there's something that looks new over here, so let's take a picture of this wooden bow. This wooden bow may not be the most reliable for batter, ba battling enemy monsters, but it is excellent for hunting small animals. Cool. Anyway now, let's uh, eat a meal. And then... Like that. And then we want to get out our ice. And start 
going through here. My goodness, these Octoroks are gonna ruin my day, I can already tell. Oh, or I can just ruin my day. That works too. I have to restart. So how about I just be a little bit more casual about this and see what happens. What happens if I actually do it the way you're intended to do it? So like, actually attacking enemies. Might also get bombs out again, just in case. Ow! Get up please, Link. Rolling on the ground is taking damage. Oh, this is still open, cool. Gonna slash at you, I guess. Like a whole bunch of other things as well. Oh, there you are. He's still alive, but that's fine because I can throw that over and get him. Now, gonna do that, which does twice as many shots as I realized. Well, three times as many shots as I realized. It shoots three arrows at once. Which is probably a good reason to have more arrows. Oh, the fire key's gone. I guess it didn't actually respawn anything. Maybe? I, I guess I did run past most of the things. At first. Okay, that didn't work, but that's fine. Just gonna shoot arrows. Did I not get him? No, I didn't. Please. Please. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of arrows. A lot of shots, that probably means that my bow is going to break as well. Let's take this carefully. So don't die, because an instant restart is not great. I can see you over there. Did I not? I didn't, of course I didn't. Oh my goodness, kidding, oh my goodness. It's so easy to fall off of things. I'm starting to get annoyed. Okay, run, go, fast, win, eat food. This isn't supposed to be this hard, I'm pretty sure. But I'm really struggling, so. Is that something over here that I can grab? No, it's just the fence. To help me stay inside of the area. Just gonna keep going. And luckily I don't have to worry about the Octorox again, so I can just mostly go through this quickly. Oh my gosh. But falling in as an instant restart is super annoying. Especially if I slip off. I heard that. I don't know what that is. But hopefully I'll be alright. I still hear that. Might be off the path a little bit. I'm gonna go get this chest if I can. Which might be easier said than done. Please don't slide off. Oh, is this chest a fake? That's also a thing that could happen. Forest Dweller's sword. Korox made this sword for Hylians. It's made of wood, so it isn't the best choice for heading head-on attacks. Its originally, original intent was likely clearing vines to forge paths through forests. Don't have enough space in my inventory! Yay! Have to drop something! I could just drop my royal claymore, but I'm gonna drop my iron sledgehammer. 
There we go. Okay, let's go. Also, while I'm here, I can also still self- Ah! Uh, I can also still self-portrait to get some of these things. So, Forest Dweller's Bow. Forest Dweller's Shield. And... If I get it right somehow, I think. Although I might actually have the sword already. Maybe. Although, if I do that, and then self-portrait... Nope. Um, can I not? I'm pretty sure I can. Maybe I can't take a picture of the sword like this, but that's fine. For now, okay, I need to actually switch back to Cronus so I don't actually ruin myself. Okay, let's go. And now comes a fun bit. Oh my goodness. Nice, got both of them with one shot. Except I actually had to use a second shot for the... Oh, the rock. Oh my goodness. I think it wants me to use these... I think it wants me to use these as... As platforms, but I don't know how well it's going to work, so I'm just going to try and... Ice my way through instead. We can see the shrine. Oh my goodness. Just need to survive a little bit longer. Is there anything in there? Is that... That's just blocked off. Okay. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Probably should have taken a picture of you before I blew you up. I don't think I've got a picture of them yet. Hey, that works. That works really well, actually. Goal! Congratulations, you passed the test of, of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Yay! Oh yeah. If you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya. No, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna get this shrine and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Like a tree. And yet another blessing. So, I'm actually going to drop my sword on the ground since I haven't taken a picture of that yet. Forest Dweller Sword. Sw sword. Let's take that again and let's open this chest. Kick it from the side or wherever. Giant Ancient Core. Very nice. Well, there we go. Now that that's done, let's head to the Great Plateau. You wouldn't expect me to say that, but I have good reason. There's uh, a few Koroks we can get here that we can only get after we've left, but I've also... There's only three left, two of which you can only get after you've left the Great Plateau. And one that I just missed, I think, so. Anyway, there's one right here in the Shrine of Resurrection. And now, I think I'm gonna actually go... Oh, where do I... I think I need to go over here, so let's do that. And also, while we're here... Oh, wow. Look at that glowy glowy. We'll have a look at that later, probably. While we're here... Remember that time I was, uh... I jumped off the edge to get the... The... Well, looking around just to get a Korok, and then I died because it thought it was too far down. I'm pretty sure it's down here somewhere, maybe? Or somewhere like this, at the very least. I don't think it's right here, though. Maybe. It would be higher up over there, though. Er, I should have come back here later. But I think there's also possibly... 
shrine down there that we've seen before. So I wanted to mark that down. Anyway, let me just quickly climb up again, I think. It's a good thing I have my warm to play on already. Oh my goodness, climbing this. Look at it. It's just so tall. I can see why this, the game is supposed to kill me if I jump down here, but still. It was a bit annoying. It'd be more annoying to climb up this with this, with like, no stamina though. Please, please, please don't fall. Please don't fall. I think I'm fine. I just want to make sure though. Oh, please. Please tell me I can recover. Stamina up here. I... A little bit. Okay. Just jump up. Okay, cool. I'm still alive. That's a good starting point, I think. Anyway, let's head over this way a bit more because I think... I think I need to go further this way and then jump off the edge. I can also use uh, stasis to figure it out. Probably. Anyway. If we go up here though, somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Somewhere up here. There should be. A rock. And also, a pattern for that rock. I'm pretty sure I missed this somehow. So. But yeah. This is actually here to show that you can get Koroks this way. So almost every type of Korok is on the Great Plateau. But anyway, I should actually be marking these off as I collect them. But now we have one more left on the Great Plateau. We should be off the edge somewhere. So let's go down here for starters. And then use a bit of this. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going to fall off. I'm fine. I'm fine. So fine. Maybe it's actually further this way. Which would be surprising. Is that a... What's that down there? I can see something glowing down there. But I don't think it's actually what I think that is. Yeah, I think that might just be... Nothing? I think that might be just be nothing. I don't know, I'm crazy. It could also have been possibly... Um, the rush room down there glowing when I was holding this out. I feel like I've gone too far now. To where I'm trying to get the thing. Probably further down this way then. If it's not further up this way. Just gonna quickly have a fly past here. Just because, I suppose. And let's head over this way. I think? Am I crazy? No, there's definitely more area over this way. I could jump down here and start floating. Do I see anything? Yes, I do see something. What is something, though? Oh, that's just a bit of pillar. Okay. Well, anyway. I'm so sure there's something around here somewhere. I'm so sure. Am I just wrong? I might just be wrong. Also, this is not at all where I need to be. So where, then, am I supposed to be going? I know it's... Like, somewhere down here, though. Ah! I'm almost positive... It's off the edge. I'm almost positive. I heard the enemies. Maybe if I get a little bit closer to the edge and then use the stasis out, just hold it out and see what happens. Maybe. Except the camera's not great for looking straight down and around underneath what you're standing on. So possibly not. It's not like right down this corner, is it? 
No. Oh, is that it? That is it. Okay, there we go. Finally, after all of this time, there's a, a cube. Which goes over here. On here. There we go. And that's all the Koroks for the Great Plateau down. One region of the map complete. Time to do all the rest. Okay. Let's head back to Korok Forest. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.